China is doing big things again? China has won another title of the world's first, built the world's largest waste-to-energy plant, which can swallow 3 million tons of waste every year and generate 1.5 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. Let's take a closer look in this video. With the continuous development of economy and urbanization, the amount of various garbage discharges is increasing day by day, and the problem of garbage siege has become one of the main problems faced by countries all over the world. Therefore, waste treatment technology, especially the research and development of waste incineration power generation technology, has become a major trend of global development in the future. What should make all Chinese people proud is that China's waste incineration power generation technology is currently in a leading position in the world. China has built the world's largest waste-to-energy plant, which can dispose of more than 3 million tons of waste a year without burning coal and generate 1.5 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. This technology has not been realized even in the United States so far. So what exactly is waste-to-energy technology? Does waste-to-energy pollute the environment? If you want to promote it on a large scale, what kind of problems will you face? The so-called waste power generation refers to a special form of power generation that uses a special incineration boiler to incinerate various solid wastes and then generates power through a professional steam turbine generator set. This method of power generation has been around since the 1970s. At that time, some developed countries in Europe and the United States had built waste-to-energy plants and began to study the technology of using the heat generated by incineration to generate electricity. At the beginning of the 21st century, more than 1,000 waste-to-energy plants have been built around the world. Compared with many developed countries, China's waste-to-energy technology started relatively late. However, in recent years, with the improvement of China's comprehensive national strength and the strong support of national policies, China's waste incineration power generation technology has developed rapidly. In particular, China's self-developed waste incinerator technology has developed from a fixed great waste incinerator to a circulating fluidized bed boiler which has impressed many Western countries. For now, the categories of waste to energy are mainly divided into two ways, waste incineration power generation and waste landfill power generation. So, can all waste be used to generate electricity? In fact, before using waste to generate electricity, we must first collect all kinds of waste in a unified manner. The garbage is sorted one by one, that is to say, in the process of garbage sorting, some garbage that can be burned but has no recycling value will be sorted out. The rubbish is then shredded and made into dry burning balls similar to briquettes. These burning balls are sent into a special high-temperature incinerator by advanced machines, and the heat energy is converted into high-temperature steam through high-temperature incineration, which drives the boiler machine to rotate at a high speed so that the generator generates electricity. For garbage and substances that cannot be burned in garbage classification, Special fermentation and anaerobic methods are used for treatment. Then through drying and deflow technology to make it produce methane gas, which is commonly known as biogas. The biogas is then burned to convert the heat into steam, which also spins up a turbine that turns a generator to generate electricity. For the garbage that can be recycled and reused in the garbage classification process, it will be recycled reasonably and efficiently. In this way, in just a few hours, the piles of garbage that originally needed to be landfilled are turned into electricity for people's production and life, and then transmitted to thousands of households through the power grid. 
According to relevant data, the annual garbage output in Chinese cities reaches about 1 trillion tons, and the annual cost of garbage transportation and treatment consumes about 30 billion yuan. And if these garbage can be used for power generation, the average low calorific value of 2,900 joules per kilogram is equivalent to 14 million tons of standard coal. That is to say, waste to energy can not only solve the problem of besieged cities by waste, but also dispose of millions of tons of waste every year and the huge occupied space. At the same time, waste materials can be reused, creating more than 1 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year, which greatly alleviates the problem of China's energy shortage. Therefore, using waste incineration to generate electricity is indeed the best way to solve the problem of waste. Many countries are constantly developing and improving technologies related to waste to energy. However, many people are beginning to worry. Now that global warming is getting worse, will this waste incineration power generation cause greater pollution and damage to the environment? Because waste incineration power generation process will inevitably produce a lot of harmful gases and substances, such as various particle pollutants, heavy metal acid gases, highly toxic gases and oil and gas pollutants. Among them, the discharge of dioxins has attracted widespread attention. Because dioxins are one of the most toxic pollutants known to humans so far, and they are also internationally recognized first-class carcinogens. Generally, when the temperature of incinerated garbage is 300 to 500 degrees, dioxins will be formed during the combustion process. So, will the pollutants produced in the process of incinerating waste to generate electricity pollute the environment? In fact, as long as waste incineration is properly controlled, the impact on the environment can be said to be negligible. First of all, this is a new high-end technology built power generation method. Not only can the garbage be fully burned and filtered, but also a strictly sealed garbage storage warehouse can be set up to effectively prevent environmental pollution. Secondly, the waste-to-energy plants currently built in China not only have independent patented technologies, but also carry out more than 10 automatic purification and detection of waste gas, wastewater and other harmful pollutants produced during the waste combustion process. Green emissions will only be carried out if the specified emission standards are met. That is to say, compared with the pollution and damage caused by simple landfill disposal of waste, waste incineration power generation is more environmentally friendly and safer, and it also achieves the triple goals of harmlessness, reduction, and energy saving. At present, in the face of the problem of garbage flooding, in addition to adopting defensive measures to control and destroy garbage, the world has also actively adopted measures such as garbage power generation, scientifically and effectively realizing the comprehensive treatment and utilization of garbage. Since the introduction of waste incineration power generation technology in Shenzhen, China in 1985, China's waste power generation technology has developed very rapidly. Until today, China's waste incinerator technology has basically achieved localization, and many equipment parts have basically achieved independent innovation and research and development. Moreover, in recent years, more than 10 cities in China, including Shanghai, Hangzhou, Shaoxing, and Zhuhai, have successively built a number of waste incineration power plants which have been fully put into operation. At the same time, many waste-to-energy plants in China can achieve the task of incinerating 1,000 tons of waste every day. Take Shanghai Laogang Renewable Energy Utilization Center Project, the world's largest waste-to-energy plant built in China at present, 
This is a waste to energy plant built in China using new patented technology. It is currently divided into phase 1 and phase 2. The first phase was put into use in May 2013 and it can process about 3,000 tons of garbage every day. Since the second phase was put into use at the end of September 2019, its daily waste processing capacity can reach about 6,000 tons, and its daily power generation capacity exceeds 3 million kilowatt hours. According to data, Shanghai has a permanent population of nearly 24 million and produces an average of 24,700 tons of domestic waste every day, which means that Shanghai's annual waste production is more than 9 million tons. After the second phase of the Laogang Renewable Energy Utilization Center was put into use, basically one-third of Shanghai's garbage was disposed of, which not only greatly alleviated the problem of garbage occupying space, but also saved energy. Moreover, as the waste-to-energy technology of Laogang Energy Center continues to mature, its emission standards are far below the stipulated standards. It is reported that the emission of one incinerator in Laogang Energy Center is basically equivalent to the emission of one car, so China's waste to energy technology is developing very well. But there are many problems and challenges in terms of technological development at present. First of all, the promotion of waste to energy is restricted by geographical and seasonal changes. It is easy to implement in the developed cities in the east, and it can also greatly reduce the problem of urban garbage. However, due to technical and capital reasons in remote and backward cities, it is difficult to implement temporarily. In addition, the heat generated by combustible waste is relatively low, resulting in large fluctuations in power generation and poor power stability. Secondly, waste treatment equipment such as incineration boilers and power generation equipment are very expensive to operate, while waste power generation generates poor electricity and its income is low and it cannot be independent. Therefore, it still needs strong support from national policies. In addition, although there are so many treatment facilities, there is still a small amount of long-term discharge and accumulation of harmful substances, which can still cause chronic damage to the natural ecology. However, in general, incineration for power generation is much better than direct landfilling. It not only reduces the volume and weight of garbage, but also can be used to generate electricity to meet human energy needs. No matter how efficient the garbage disposal method is, it is impossible to avoid the discharge of harmful substances, and the progress of human civilization will not stop because of the garbage problem. All we can do is to continue to learn and improve, and to live in harmony with nature in a more friendly way. Problems and Challenges Faced by Waste to Energy but there are many problems and challenges in terms of technological development at present. First of all, the promotion of waste to energy is restricted by geographical and seasonal changes. It is easy to implement in the developed cities in the east, and it can also greatly reduce the problem of urban garbage. However, it is difficult to implement temporarily in remote and backward cities due to technical funding. In addition, the heat generated by combustible garbage is relatively low, resulting in large fluctuations in power generation and poor power stability. Secondly, the operating costs of waste disposal equipment such as incineration boilers and power generation equipment are very expensive. However, the electricity produced by waste to energy is relatively poor and its income is low, so it cannot be independent. Therefore, strong support from national policies is still needed. In addition, although there are so many treatment facilities, 
there is still a small amount of long-term discharge and accumulation of harmful substances, which can still cause chronic damage to the natural ecology. However, incineration power generation is still much better than direct landfill. It not only reduces the volume and weight of garbage, but also can be used to generate electricity to meet human energy needs. No matter how efficient the garbage disposal method is, it is impossible to avoid the discharge of harmful substances, and the progress of human civilization will not stop because of the garbage problem. All we can do is to continue to learn and improve, and to live in harmony with nature in a more friendly way. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.